Okay, this is for a guide to playing co-op. In order to play co-op, you have to be online. So if you're not seeing this screen, it's because you're not online. If you go to co-op or multiplayer, you have to be online. So this is going to be a guide for co-op. So you go to online co-op or intro movie if you want to watch the movie that introduces it. But if I go to online, then I can go to private or public. If I go to private, I can adjust the settings that I want. If I'm having a hard time getting into a game or I want to go to get into a game, I can go here to chapter and then there's all these different chapters. And then I can go to chapter difficulty. So if I go, if I want to play, let's say I want to play uh, Lights Out on Insane, I can set it to this and then when I go back out and go into the public co-op, it'll look for a game in Lights Out on Insane level. Or it'll look for another game in Insane level, which is the hardest level. So I want to go into private, and if I want to adjust my um, settings for my setup, this is where I can do it without getting in the way of a game going on. Because while you're in game, you, don't, you won't be able to do this. So you only get four standard loadouts if you don't have anything set. So, if you go into loadouts and you want to make your own, this is how you do it. Up in the right corner, I, it shows I have 17 made loadouts out of 25 open slots. So let's say I wanted to create a new loadout. First, I'm going to create the primary weapon. That's my main weapon. It's going to be either an assault rifle, an SMG, a LMG, a sniper rifle, or a shotgun. You can pick any of these that you have, you know, they're all available. And so let's say I'm going to take an, SM, an STG. You can see with no modifications on it, none of these down here, these down here, the range, damage, accuracy, fire rate, and mobility are, th are this. And when you download um, content by uh, doing downloading, then you get these other options and they go from Mark 1 to Mark 5. These are all Mark 5, but you can see the difference between downloading and getting a Mark 5 has an increase in damage. This little green amount is an increase in damage, and the red amount is a decrease in accuracy. So you get a little bit less accuracy, but, a, but more damage. If you don't download, you won't get these. That's, so that's an advantage, of course. So let's say I want to go with Warrior's Mod because I want to do the most damage. That means it's going to kill the guy faster. Let's say it takes two bullets instead of three, which is not likely, but let's just say that's the way it works. Then you can go to the barrel. Um, I would go with a heavy barrel instead of a sound suppressor, but you know, if you like a suppressor, that's okay. And then you have the bullets. I would go with hot rounds. And you can see it unlocks at weapon level 15. Now you're going to get to weapon level 15 by playing with this gun. The longer you play, the more guys you kill, you're going to see that you've gotten to level 1, and then level 2, and then level 5, level 10, and once you get up to level 15, hot rounds is unlocked. And you can see with hot rounds you get a significant um, increase in damage, the green, and a decrease in accuracy. And then you can go to an extended magazine, and you get two available ads. So I can go to Red Dot and uh, the ammo one. That would be the primary. Secondaries, I get the first. The first grouping is pistols, the second grouping is, uh, is uh, rocket launchers, plus you can have a flamethrower as a secondary, and the third grouping is uh, bows and fire um, flare guns. Personally, I go with the bow because I like to be able to do this. Put fire arrows with it. Fire arrows are very important because they will lay an area out in fire for you, but you only get uh, five arrows. If you, have a, if you get full ammo, you get five arrows, and then you can get more when you go to the ammo box. But the biggest thing it can do is take out heavies. You know, 
you're going to have a hard time taking out a heavy, but if you hit them with a fire arrow or, or a Molotov cocktail, fire takes them out better than anything else. If you're going to stand there and shoot at them, you're going to die relatively quickly. So I'm going to go with that. And then, equipment-wise, my, my personal choice is the large Molotov because I want to take out heavies. And the other thing Molotovs do great at is laying down a lot of fire and it slows the enemy charge if they have to come through a corridor or something like that and you l let it go on fire they're not going to run through it so it slows them from attacking you in case you have a problem or you want to heal somebody and you want to kind of lay the area around it in fire you can have a large grenade pouch either one of these large pouches carries four grenades or four molotovs or you can have two molotovs and then do something else like proximity mines and C4 or you can get body armor. So light body armor and and two grenades, let's say, or two Molotovs. Personally, I don't care about the body armor, and I'll go with um, the large Molotov. Then we have the skills. You can have faster reload snap shooting, which is hip firing, better hip firing accuracy, quick draw, or faster aim and then speed burst, six cents, and you can just look through these. The one I choose is Bloodlust, and uh, depends on the gun. If I have a LMG, I want faster reload, because if you're taking forever to reload, you're gonna die when you run out of bullets on your clip, so faster reload's important. If, I'm, if I have a um, submachine gun, I want a snap shooting, which increases my hip firing accuracy. So in this case, I would probably go with, I don't know, faster reload maybe for the assault. Or I could go with faster aim, because it takes time to bring your sights up. And then with the battle cry, I go for, always go for recovery, because what it does is, if anybody's near enough to hear your battle cry, it boosts their health regeneration so if they're starting to die and they're getting red and they're about to die from another bullet and I hit them with a battle cry they'll jump up and be able to take another round so they can crouch down and get out of fire or whatever and save themselves it, it's a big help to be able to increase the health of everybody and there we have it that's then we can rename it and we're gonna call it STG and then I can pick that and it'll have all these features. You're going to want to make different loadouts and try the different guns out. My personal uh, favorite here is the um, F1. The F1 is the most accurate, most quick killing gun in the game as far as I'm concerned. Um, there are some situations where it's not as good as other guns. Um, it does really well at mid-range and long-range, and at close, it kills people faster than a shotgun. However, it doesn't spray bullets like the BZ-19 does. And if you have a lot of enemies that are in close, the BZ-19 can't be built, beat. If you have a lot of enemies in close, the BZ-19 can't be beat. So, there we go. Uh, once again, the recurve bow is the secondary, the equipment is four molotovs, the skills are, let's see, it's um, faster aim and bloodlust. What bloodlust does is it gives you a little more health after you kill somebody, and since you're going to have battles where you're shooting it out with other people, your health goes down during the shootout. So when you finally um, kill them, then you, you get a little health boost after killing them which makes a difference, because health is how you survive. So I hope this has been helpful for you in figuring out how to make, make it more enjoyable. Like I said, you can come into private, set where you want to go and what the level is, and then go back out of it, and then you're going to join the public co-op. And then it starts looking for groups that are on insane level. And it's looking at three of six. And I'm just going to show you that it's lining up. Okay, so it's in lights out. And um, I, don't, 
actually want to play this, but um, I'm just showing you how it would be. And then you're going to go down and pick your... your, your and then I'm going to go to quit. 